Good evening. God bless you. Thank you again for turning in to Old Time Gospel with Martha Hood and Marcus Hammonds. I'm so glad to be here tonight, and I am honored by the Lord to have one of my best friends. I grew up with this man, Officer Marvin Bradley, and it has been indeed an honor just to get back acquainted with him. Marvin and I had gone to school together, and he was a big brother to me, a man, somebody that I uh, looked up to, and we just gleaned off of each other when we were in school. We had so many things, and we were very, very wow in our upbringing, and you would have never thought that I would become a preacher and he would become an officer. And he has worked and done all kinds of surveillance stuff. He's worked to save people. He's worked in various parts of the government protecting people with big names. And, and I, I will let him do more of talking about that. But we brought him to, to, to our show tonight and back into our area because he is doing a, a taser task force management and what he does is go out and give safety to churches, colleges, schools, all the way throughout our community, throughout the southeast region of the United States. He's sending out all kinds of tasers throughout the country and he's just really been a blessing. Now he's in our area, Columbus, Georgia again. He's originally from Columbus. He started out and I, and I, I want to tell this little story. Uh, because he, he and I, we had so much fun together that you would not believe that he had it in his mind that one day he wanted to be a police officer because we both had a man that was close in our life, but a man that he knew even closer than I did, Mr. James Bettis Sr. And he told me, he said, Marcus, um, I, I, when I saw Mr. Bettis in that uniform and I saw him as a strong black man, he said that was an image that I wanted. And he said, that was something I worked for. I went out to college, and I was singing out there in the clubs, and I didn't know the Lord was going to call me from the clubs into the gospel ministry. And Marvin was up here being a superstar, running and doing the things that he was doing, and, you know, tracking all other things. But who would ever think that he decided, I'm going to become a police officer? And now he's retired from Atlanta Police Department. Well, Mar I'll let you tell the rest of it. From Marta Police Department. Go ahead. Yeah. This is Officer Marvin Bradley. Um, how y'all doing, everybody? This uh, I'm Officer Bradley, retired police officer, uh, seven years with the uh, federal government security, 25 years model police officer, two years with the Cab School Police. I still work with public safety with the Cab County. Uh, what we're doing today is uh, doing a safety defense class. Is what I teach from my company called Taser Force Management. And with the crime rate going up and crime getting bad yes. every day. Uh, me and Reverend Hammonds uh, sit down and talked about how bad crime is every day. It's All not going. It's time. not going to get any better. No. Nope. And what I'm here today is to show you how to arm yourself and protect yourself instead of just being a victim. And that way, we got products right here to show you how you cannot be a victim. Yes. Something to teach you how to be safe and how to protect yourself. <laughs> and uh, these are tasers. And and I, but, but, but before you even start showing a taser, let's talk about some of the crimes because you've worked in, in the police force for so long, you've seen the churches, you've seen people get robbed. You tell me about it all the time. And he talks about just going to the gas station. Yeah. And, as, and I like how Officer Bradley calls it. He said that homies out there sitting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, and we become the the prey, and they're predators. Talk about it. It's it just like when you go to the service station, you always gonna see a young black male on his cell phone standing right by the door, looking straight at the pumps. And what they doing? They sizing and looking at the weakest target that they can get. Wow. Elderly people, short stature people, uh, watching women getting out of their car without their pocketbook. That's basically what they doing. And the guy that's standing up near the store door. He gonna say what pump you at. If you didn't get out the car with your pocketbook, they gonna get you. Also, y'all notice on TV they have they have sliders that slide into your car. These people didn't just come off the street and to come up here and just slide into your car. What it is, they sitting in the parking lot 
watching, and while you pumping your gas, they know yes. you, most women, they, they watch to see if you lock your car door. And what do you see on TV? The lady trying to pump her gas, the guy pulls up, crawls on the ground, open her car door, get her pocketbook, get back in the car, and takes off. And that's exactly what they're doing all the time because a lot of people is, is sitting up here not thinking about locking their car doors as they exactly. get out. Exactly, exactly. And, and notice that <clears throat> most of the time when you got crime against women or elder person or seniors, you notice that they don't have a weapon. 99% of the time when they out here committing a crime, they don't have a weapon. The reason they don't have a weapon, being in law enforcement, we call older women, seniors, people of small stature, we call them soft targets. What these guys doing, they want the easiest person that won't resist or fight them. That's what they're looking at. That's what they want to do. And when they come up on you, they know you can't fight them, and that's why they knock you down, snatch your pocketbook, or, or reach into your car, knock you out the way, and carjack you and drive off because they know that you can't put up a struggle with them. Right. But what we're here today is to show you we got products right here to show you why not to be, why be a victim when you don't have to. We got tasers up here from Taser Force Management that will show you exactly, I'm going to show you how to use these tasers, I'm going to show you how to be safe. A lot of police officers that I work with have bought them for their wives and their kids off in college. Yes. Reason being, the product is to show them that when your college, your college student goes out to, to, the, to the pub or to the library or from classes, uh, at least she'd be armed with something. You know, element of surprise is they're not expecting you to have anything with you. Yes. And the bottom line to the whole deal is that Taser Force Management is supplying this product to show you that you don't have to be a victim, but you can protect yourself and you can defend yourself. Wow. That's basically what Taser Force Management do. We, uh, we've been to colleges. Uh, we've been to churches all over Georgia. Uh, the college students, uh, they passed a bill uh, for college students about five years ago that they can have tasers. Uh, Y'all see the crime against kids. Like in Atlanta, where I'm oh, from right Lord. now, mm. they robbing them at Georgia State. They robbing them at Georgia Tech. They getting them at Spelman, Morehouse, Morris Brown College. And the bottom line to the whole deal is, like I said before, they, a lot of times when they get robbed, they don't. The per perpetrator do not have a weapon, and that's what I'm saying. He physically removed them from from what they have. Right, brute force, you know, and and snatching their backpack, their laptop. And like I said, if they had a taser to defend mm. themselves with, that person would be laying on the ground right here while they sitting up here waiting on the police. And these tasers right here, I got power in them. And, and what we're going to show you, the power and the voltage of them. Go ahead. It's time now for demonstration because you've already kept covered so much. And I, I'm, I want to tell everybody, I'm so impressed with what, what Officer Bradley has shown me uh, and even when I've told my, my wife and I, we have some of the tasers, but uh, we've shown some of the staff even here at CTV, uh, at, at, at a television station, and people get amazed. I, I want to say that Officer Bradley has a very busy schedule. He's been to some of the larger mega churches in Atlanta. And, and as I said, the Southeast region, so I don't want to just call out one or two names, but he can if he wants to. But I'm just saying that he took out his time to come here tonight to be with us. But we're going to be showing this not just tonight, but we're going to be airing it so that people can contact Officer Bradley. And we'll put his picture up. We'll put his telephone number up and give more information. Or you can give your number right now before we first start showing it and again we're going to repeat it again because i want everybody to know how to contact you know officer bradley because this is just phenomenal with with us having killings in south carolina with us having shootings with people being stampeded you know just harmed we need to find something to be defense to have a defense and not be defenseless now it's time for demonstration officer go ahead Reverend Hammond gonna be my demonstrator. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so, this right here is called a lipstick taser. It's for women, uh, or for those who, who decide they wanna use it too. This is called a lipstick taser. It has 1500 voltage to it, and it's compact. Now, a lot of women carry their pocketbook even on their left shoulder or their right shoulders. And this right here, the green is for the light, and the red is for the taser. And you can see how strong this light is. It will semi-blind you if you're out at night. 
point in my face. I want to see. Oh yeah, it is bright. Okay. And this tape and the red button is for the taser. This thing holds fifteen hundred voltage to it, and it will take you off your feet. And do me a favor, press it. But I'll stand back. I, I, I'll press it that way. <laughs> it will continue to tase as long as your hand is on this button. Wow. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you if a, if a female a woman, young lady, is, carry, is carrying this with her for protection. If you notice, you can see the diamond studs that's right here. If you pull the cap up, you can see it aligned with the green button and the red button. You close it up, you put your, if you right-handed, you put your right thumb on this ring. If you left-handed, it like it's the same seat. thing. You put your hand on the ring. So, if you're a left-handed person, and, and say you walking, mm -hmm. and a person come up behind you, and you just pull this cap off, and you just merciful savior. All right, that's enough. <laughs> 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 and this would give them a shock of their life, Whew. and also it would knock them off their feet. Jesus. As long as your hand is on this button, it gonna continue to tase. But this is for your protection. And you have to touch me. Is it? You have to make contact with the person. Okay. I got it on the cap. All right. Okay. So <laughs> stick your finger out. So all you gotta do. So as soon as I touch you, yeah. and you hit the button. All you gotta do, like his hand is right here. All you gotta do is make contact right here. Touch Jeez. his fingertip, uh, his hand, or uh, wherever. It will take him off his feet. It's got 1,500 voltage to it. Most of the time, right now, since it's getting warm, if they just got a, a thin shirt on, you can just you got it ain't on. No, I'm, you can I'm, just I'm, touch them. Make you gotta make contact with them. You can hit them in the face, in the <laughs> eye, or wherever. You're not trying to kill them. These tasers are non-lethal. Remember that, non-lethal. Not saying that they won't kill you, but they non-lethal. All you're trying to do is get this perpetrator off you, and so you can be safe. We're gonna move right along. Would it to be another good? One. I want to ask you this: If if you pop the man, would it be good after you pop him to call 911? If you pop the man and he passed out, not only call 911, take a picture of him. Okay. The reason being, if he attacked you, he'd attack somebody else. So that's why you want to sit oh, up and make sure. Oh wow! If he pass, when he passes out, he incapacitated. You already know your central nervous system in the back of your head. That way, this is a joke. Electricity. Once you hit him with it and knock him off his feet, if he passes out, now I'm a, I don't show a lot of older people this move, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make uh, Reverend Hammer get down. But basically, what I, what we do, if they get incapacitated and they pass out, you flip them over. And hold and put your knee in the smallest part of their back, right here, and hold this taser to the back of their head until the police get there. The reason wow. I'm saying because once you tase them, they're not gonna take, they're not gonna move again. Because as long as you got this taser in the back in of their head, head, in the back, in the back of their head, right here, you hold it right here while they laying down, and you make them do what you do. Make them lay down, put their arm, spread their arm, arm, spread your arm. Oh, spread it like that. Just like that. Have them laying down, and you put your knee in the lower part of their back, right here, and I guarantee you they won't get up. Gee whiz. So that's what this right here, this taser right here is called a lipstick taser, 1500 voltage. You don't want to pop him in the head because you pop him in the head, you might scatter his brains. We're going to move right along. <laughs> this, this is another taser right here that has 3000 voltage to it. 3000 to 25 million voltage, this, this taser right here. And it's, it's, this right here is powerful. And it's similar to what the police carry as for as the prongs to it. If you can look real close, you see the prongs right here. I see them. That's, in, that, that's embedded into this taser. And the way, and what's good about this taser right here, you have an on and off switch at the back of it, and you gotta do it, the light is so powerful, that's how strong this light is, it will semi-blind you. Mm. And what you do, you do your hands just like a gun. This is how you use this taser. Your fingertip is gonna be the taser control, your thumb gonna be the main control. And what do you do with this taser right here? You hold it in your hand. And if you look at it real closely, I got space in between both my hands. So that means it's in a safety position. Right. Your light will come on automatically if you push it forward. But your taser has to be slide backwards for it to come on. But the switch gotta be on. You gotta turn it on. I'm now about to turn this taser on. So right now this taser is on. I'm gonna demonstrate with, with Reverend Hammers again. Now, I'm not going to tase him now, but I'm, I'm going I'm to show him, if he was trying to attack me, I'm going to show, show you what I can do with him. Act like you're trying to attack me. <laughs> you got to remember. 
As long, as long as your hand is on this button, it's going to keep on tasing. It's not against the law to have a taser. Right. And this right here would get him a joke. I guarantee you, it would knock them off their feet. Anywhere from 3,000 to 25 million voted. It just depends on how long you hit them and how hard you hit them and where you hit them at. All you have to do, it, it ain't on, mm -hmm. is make contact. You got to make contact with him. His hands, his feet, his face. You got to make contact in order to make him get off his feet. Moving right along. Or hit him in the gut. Yeah. If you hit him in the gut, I don't think he going to get back up. <clears throat> now... For those of you who's at home, a lot of single women, a lot of older women, a lot of people, men and women who don't have a weapon in their home, this, this taser right here, it's as powerful. you can see, it has 25 million voters to it. 25 million voters. This is powerful like a gun. And what you want to do, what's good about this taser right here is that you can sit up, if, if your power go off in your house, and I can't do a demonstration because I don't know if they can see it or not. But uh, you can turn. Mm. let me see. Yeah, that one zooms. Oh, you can turn it right back toward. If you look at this taser right here, it will wind your whole living room up. If your, if your power ever went off in your house, you could turn this on right yeah, here. I'm gonna turn it to the camera. And, and, <laughs> and it was it was it, it would lighten your whole living room. <laughs> you set it down, it would lighten your whole living room up right here. That's if your power ever go out in your house. And you can do it on me. I mean, I think that it'll show a, a design, a pattern, right. There yeah. we go. Yeah. And I got a black shirt, so it'll... And, and see how wide it is? It'll, it'll, it'll widen up in your house if your power ever go out. But moving it right along, this right here has 25 million voters to it. <clears throat> Let's hear how that one sounds. Wow. Wow. This right here would take him off his feet. Oh, I believe it. ASAP. Sony... If a perpetrator was coming at you, I'm not going to hit you with it. Oh, I believe you. I know you would. I mean, I, 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 and all you got to do is hit him. Just thank touch, you, touch his Jesus. body with this and give, give it to him. It would definitely take him off his feet. This has 2,500 voters to it. And I promise you, if you hit him with it one time, he's not getting up. And he's not getting up in the next two or three minutes. <laughs> and that also, was, what's good about it? it one more time for us. I like how it. As long as you got your hand on this on this taser, it, it, would, it would not stop. How about a dog? Now, a lot of people walk with a stick. And the reason they walk with a stick is because they walk because they worry about a dog or animal coming out at them. This is technology right here. This is their stick right here. If they walk in with this right here and a dog come out at them, all they got to do is hold it steady and just give it to them. A dog is sensitive, so if he aggressive and he come at you with this right here and you hit him with it, I promise you, one touch of him, it'll take him off his feet. It'll knock him down. He'll be incapacitated for a minute or five minutes. This is guaranteed that it will do that to him. A person, it's the same thing. What's good about this taser right here is that you can wear it, you can clip it to your pants. Wow. You can walk around with it. You can shake, move. It's not, it's not going anywhere. This taser right here is good. You can wear it like this or you can wear it inside your pocket. But it's better to have it like this because you can come up with a gun just like a gun and use it. That's awesome. That is awesome. And this one got 25 million voters to it. This, this is what a lot of guys at the nightclub use. A lot of truck drivers mm -hmm. buy these right here. A lot of security companies buy this. And uh, some police officers carry this legally. Uh, <laughs> they're not supposed to have it with them, but they have it anyway. <laughs> Next we have That's a bigger monster now this, this is the big boy right here Now this also has If you can look It has 25 million voters to it 25 million I it's, see it says The same thing <laughs> 25 all, million Now what's good about this right here If a child got locked in a car Oh yes It has a, gra a glass breaker right here on the tip If you see the tip right here it's, yes. a, it's a glass breaker And all you do Is just hit this glass in the center It'll shatter the glass And you can get the child out the car So getting back to matter of the hands this right here has 25 million voltage also to it, too. It do the same thing. It light up your living room if your power go off in your house. And what, what the extra thing about this, say your car break down on you, you on, a, you on a dark road and your car break down on you, you can turn this light on oh, and, and, yeah. and set this in the back of your house. <coughs> you set, set this in the back of your car. On top of your car, 
toward traffic coming towards you, somebody will come to help you once mm -hmm. they see this light blinking right here. Because this ensures it's on my face. This is like an emergency to and, help to and, help you. And you can see and it. You can see it on his on his shirt right now that it's blinking. Wow. Now getting back to That's the totally perpetrator. Awesome. If if you walk in, this right here have a wrist attachment to it. You can walk when you walk in, going for a mm -hmm. walk, or whatever. You're just walking like this. And you don't, you don't, you don't need to have a stick as far as a dog coming at no, you or whatever. Just it. This is your new stick right here. This is the new technology right here. And here's here's the taser. This right here also has 25 million voltage to it. And all you got to do is just hit them, and it will drop them in a split second. And like I said before, it don't matter if you're on your last breath. And you sitting up here, uh, you got enough strength to pull this. All you want to do is make contact with him. All you got to do, even hit him in his hands or touch him. Uh, hit him in his face. It don't or if matter. I touch you. Yeah. And, and I like it. That's the first time you've shown me that one because I love not only uh, the glass breaker for the car, but I, I like the wrist strap, and that's what I'm saying, that, that uh, when you're older, and which we do walk, uh, and let me say it this way, as a senior citizen, now I have to walk, and so, and, and you have to take, take a slow walk. So yep. somebody would notice that I'm not moving that fast. Yeah, and, and, and that makes you a target, you know, a soft target for a, a perpetrator or someone to come up and bother you. How many times do you go out to your, thank you, I appreciate it, you so kind. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> this is my brother. I thank the Lord. Yeah. But see, as I just said, yeah, keep it. But I, what I like is the fact that you just showed us that we can have that uh, on our hand while we're walking yep. or if you're jogging. And especially for ladies, because I just saw a thing on the uh, national news where a woman was jogging and someone uh, uh, accosted her. You know, they... They, and they did even more damage than that. Well, this would be good, and we can never say that in our area it's not going to happen because what was happening in Chicago. Yeah, happening down here now. Yes, yes. And it's not just, all, it's everywhere now. It's no safe haven anywhere. Your everyday way of living being interrupted by unwanted people. Yes, sir. That, that's even begging for money, approaching you the wrong way, or bumping into you or whatever. And see, you need to arm yourself. We want to taser uh, management uh, tasers for your safety. And like I said, this thing has 25, 25 million, million voltage. I see it stamped and it would, on it, there. It would light you up. And as far as a dog, you can walk with this. Uh, when you're walking on a trail, you don't need a stick no more. This is what you need. This is technology right here. This is your new stick right here. Can I? Can I? Let me just grab this because this looks so pretty here. But it says, and it's a woman's. With a little strap on it, yep. like you just showed. And so she got a little strap, and it says 25 million. Yep. I just want, you know, so you got some pretty ones there, too. Wanted to make sure I, I, I reemphasize that point. And what, what, women like wearing some pink and looking good. Yep. And they're going out there, and then all of a sudden, you know, because it's still feminine looking, and a dude, or whoever he might be, or like you said, homie, homie <laughs> might be a pure perpetrator. <laughs> perpetrator. And he sees her with this little uh, thing and think, okay, that ain't nothing. Yep. Because it looks so pretty. And she jogging and looking pretty. But at the same time, he tries to come up on her and just think that she got something in her hand. And she can knock the socks off of him. And this Look one right here, if what's good about this, this taser right here is that you can wear it on your wrist. And like I said before, anywhere from 3,000 to 25 million voltage, this taser right here is Because it looks like a little umbrella also. So what you want to do with this taser right here, you can wear this on the side. If you've got a, a pair of pants on with a belt, let me show you how easy this is to wear this. So many different things you can do with it. You can wear this. If you got a belt, you can wear this belt, on, your, on yes. your side. On your left side, your right side. It's compact, it's easy, and like he said, like Reverend said, it looked like just a flashlight, but it's a flashlight taser. And this is how powerful this thing is right here. Oh, Lord. 
as long as you got your finger on the button, it's gonna keep on tasing. Now that that looked like something that Sister Martha would be the using. The difference between these tasers and what the police carry, the police carry a taser gun. The gun has a cartridge on the end of it, and what it does, it shoots two needles into your body, and it got a cartridge on there. When an officer chasing more than one perpetrator, he can only tase one person with the gun. The reason being because it got needles, he got to take the cartridge off and take the needles out of the person's body. Taser force management taser, you can tase all day long. You can tase as many people as you want to tase. You can tase as many people as you want to tase. Nope. Then, because as long as your hand is on that button, you can keep on tasing. That's the difference between this product and what the police officer, and you know it's against the law for y'all to carry a, a taser gun, what the police carry, but it's not against the law to carry a taser force taser. That is awesome. This is incredible. And now I'm going to show you for the older people who, uh, who walks uh, with a cane. This right here is called a cane taser. And it has a million voltage to it. It's adjustable. You can adjust to somebody's height and they weight right here. It got a reflector on here for you out at night. It also has a light. And turn it this way so they can see it. So it won't blind the camera. But and now it, it, it has a, it has and a light. It goes it's shining on my dark shirt, so we know it's showing. And say an older person going for a walk, or they going to the grocery store. Most older people, when they walk in with this this cane taser, if somebody bothering them, they gonna re, they gonna they gonna raise they they gonna raise the cane up. I ain't gonna hit you. With I know, but I'm I'm the bad guy. Yeah, remember, I'm the bad guy. I like this. So and then. <laughs> Reverend Hamlin is going to demonstrate to y'all when, when an older person is walking with a cane and somebody bothering them, they're going to raise the cane and the, and the perpetrator is going to grab the end of it. Grab it. It ain't hot. Okay. It, it, ain't, it ain't hot. It ain't hot. Okay, it's not. <laughs> you see how scared I was. No, so, I'm not going to turn it off. All right, but I'm watch not, this. Not, no, but see, all right, you got to lift it up. Like, and so I'm going to grab it like that. And, once and, he, and right when I try to do that. Once he grab it, if you hit this button... He'll be dancing. Right. He'll be dancing for a few minutes, <laughs> and it won't be the Holy Ghost and, and, until you let him go. He'll be not sure how. It, not 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 sure how. It, how it, uh, and and this this is how it goes. I mean, it, it, is it, 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 like, it lights up like a Christmas oh, tree. Oh, I see the and I see the sparks going through it, but all of them on there, one at a time. Yeah, they go up and down. That's what it does. It go up and down, up and down. And this right here got a million voltage to it right here. And you can't be no safer than walking with this. Especially and it's not going to throw the votes back at you. No, no, no. So it, it has a safety part in there. Yeah. That as long as you're throwing it, because even though you're shooting it and I see it. Yeah. It's shocking out this way, but it's not touching you. Yeah, because the, all your voltage is right here on the end. Okay. And Just like that then. Okay. And it got an adjustable stopper to it. You got two stoppers that come with it. It got a power plug. If you look right here, that's where you plug it in for your power. This is your taser switch right here. And all you got to do is, is lit up. And you just turn it off. Your, your handle and control switch is right here. And this right here, it's adjustable. It's sturdy. And like I said before, and if you don't want to tase them, you just whack him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't do that either. All right, not tonight. How long do these last? These That's last, these last at least seven years. Wow. And uh, it, all these tasers have built-in batteries to them, so you never have to buy a battery. It's a built-in battery. If you walk with it for 15, 20 minutes, charge it up for 15 or 20 minutes. If you out with it about an hour or so, and you got to have it on or whatever, just charge it up for now. Whatever amount of time you turn it on and use it, that's the amount of time you need to charge it back up. You don't need to charge it up no four or five hours or none of that because they pre-charge when they come in the package automatically. Now, you did sell out of these. Tell me some of the places you've sold out with just the canes alone because uh, I know that's a hot commodity. Most, most churches that we go to, uh, you got a lot of elders and seniors. And once they see the cane and get a hold to it, they, they want it. Weren't you, didn't you tell me, I, well, I don't mind you mentioning it, but you said you were at a Seventh-day Adventist church. I, I just recently did a <laughs> Seventh-day Adventist church in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, matter of fact, in Lithonia. And, and uh, it, it was real good. A lot of people was impressed with the, uh, the productivity that we got, all the, all the different tasers and stuff. Uh, they bought them. And uh, several people seen the cane. They want to get the cane. Didn't you say the pastor 
immediately say it. Yeah, use your handkerchief. The, the, but, the, but, the, <laughs> the, the, the pastor of the church approached me, and uh, after I spoke in the church and telling them about the safety and everything, the pastor told me when he walked up to me, he said, I ain't going to even play with you, Officer Bradley. I want the power. He said, I want the big boys. He said, I ain't got time to play with them. I just need something going to take them off their feet. All he right. said, when I hit them, they got it. And uh, that's that's exactly, this is exactly what he Those bought. Those are the big boys. These are the big boys right that, here. And this, this is exactly what the minister bought right here. Because, like I said, 25 million voted, and it's just like having a gun. All you got to do is hit them one time with it. It's a that done deal. That still popping. Now, you've been to what churches here locally before you get, because I know you still have others. Uh, we, we done been to St. James AMN Church. We done did uh, Metropolitan. Metropolitan Church. Uh, we done did some for Holy Chapel. Uh, I can't think of the other church. But, but would you be able to be available for some of our churches here? Yeah. Uh, my schedule... Uh, any, anything on Saturdays, Sundays would be good for me. I work Monday through Friday. I'm a retired police officer, but I still work for public safety. Uh, 34 years of law enforcement experience. And uh, basically, it, it's like I said before, these are here to help you protect yourself, save somebody. And that's the bottom line as far as you watching somebody being a victim when they didn't have to be a victim. Because me personally, I refuse to be a victim. I hate it when someone want to take something from them that don't belong to them, breaking your house, breaking your car, yes. carjack you and stuff. Yes. But see, you ever notice they get the people who are weak and they and they don't think they have anything with them. Element of surprise is these tasers right here would definitely do the job. Will put them off their feet. Now, and and I want to say this. I know that you teach people about the tasers. You also teach about church safety, church security, guns, gun control, a lot of things. I just want you to mention some of that again so that some of the pastors, if you want Officer Bradley to come to your church, then he can teach you and your your church about church security because all of these things are, are very much so uh, real and apparent in our area. Like uh, churches get broke in. You know, people come in there and they think that the church is the place like a bank. <laughs> Just come and take. <laughs> so they see money there, and then so you teach them everything. And I love it because I, I wanted I wanted you to I want you to tell me what you told me about when an attacker comes into a church, and there are people who have wheelchairs, because you teach all this stuff from entering churches, correct? Yes. And and how to keep the church. The, the facility. So if you need Officer Bradley to come and teach your entire church about not just the tasers and, and all, but church security, because he has a full staff that does all of these things. And I'm saying this once again, you know, because I know that we don't have a lot more time, but we have time. And I want to say it to you that we have somebody that God has blessed us with. He's a friend of mine personally. But he, he's friendly. He, he, this is his passion. This is what he what, what he feels like the Lord has him to do as a quote reasonable service outside of just being an officer. Am I right? Yes. As far as as y'all have seen in the different states, they have uh, church shootings. Me personally, you got people who goes to church that can be trained to know how to shoot. Uh, not taking anything away from the police officers, but I think if you're a member of a church and you carry a gun, it's even it's easier for you to be in the church with a gun because nobody would know who to pick out. As, as far as the police officer in uniform, they they know what's going on with it. When you when you're doing an active ch shooting, you got people in wheelchairs. It's a certain way when you got somebody in a wheelchair. If someone come into church and start shooting, people in the wheelchair, you can't just leave them. Everybody laying down, ducking between the seats. But what you got to understand, people in the wheelchairs, you got to have a position how to lay them down and slide them in between the seats because their wheelchair would not fit in between the seats. Wow. So it's a certain way that you have and to you lay teach them all down. Those yeah, and I would teach you how to take them out the wheelchair and lay them down. And, and, and put them in a safe position. As far as most churches, wow. um, doing church service, it should only be one door. To me, that should be open. That's the front door of the church. Because all the other doors should be secure because you don't need nobody coming in, sneaking up on the balcony, and they just start picking people out. 
it's a lot of things that a lot of churches that can that do you know do active shooting uh, seminars. A lot of them that don't. But if you want me to come to your church and show you how to do an active shooting into your church, I will show you and how to set it up. And like I said before, you got people, members of the church, who know how to shoot ex-military veterans. You got ex-law enforcement people go to your church. Those are the people you should get and want to have them to carry guns in your church to be, to be right there first. Because like I said before, you wearing a suit and your gun up under you, nobody knows you a cop, nobody knows you the security. That's exactly how you want it to be. You don't want people to be able to pick out who's security inside the church. You got a lot of people that goes to church just to scope out the church and see how everything is being planned and how everything is worked out. Just like they're gonna rob a bank, they go in there and scope the place out before they rob a bank. Church is no different. You know, y'all see y'all see the Muslim at their churches and stuff, what's gonna happen now, how people just come in there and just start shooting up the place. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's, it's here, it's every day. It's not gonna change, it's not gonna get any better. So that's why right now, you need to have everybody in that church, you know, uh, safe while they're there. When I worked in healthcare, we said that you have to educate, educate, educate. So what's your phone number again? Please tell us that because we didn't run it by. I need it to be. Taser Force Management phone number is 678-579-3045. I repeat the number. 678-579-3045. One more time. 678 579 if you call, you don't get an answer, you can leave a voicemail, a text message, or you can text message me at taserforcemanagement at gmail.com. Taserforcemanagement at gmail.com. Okay, we got a few more that, that we need to, to see, and, and a couple of them I'm excited about still yet, because I don't know what this is, Okay, I'm gonna but it sure is cool. <laughs> so you got a few more here if you don't mind let me show how, how this looks so yes. they can see it first and and if you don't have the supplies how quickly can you get them uh if you put in the order i can get it to you within 48 hours wow, wow. No, matter, no matter what it is a taser a cane whatever you want i can get it to you within 48 hours if you look at this right here this is a little small handheld taser kit. It, it comes like this. It's got a strap that you can put your hands on, or you can walk with it, you know, and, and you can walk with just it just like, just like a pocketbook or whatever. Some people might think it's a Bible, walking like this. And what this does, this taser is, is good. This, this taser got right here, this taser got about 7,000 voltage to it. And if you look at it, this is how it comes right here. You got a, a home plug, and it's a handheld taser. And all these have that, uh, yeah. have a plug. Okay. Now, this taser also has a built-in charger. And what you do with this taser right here, it's got a finger grip that you can grip it. Oh, okay. It's got, it got finger grips that, that, that you that. can't go wrong with it. And what you do with this taser right here, now, what's good about this taser, you can stick this down in your pocket. And ain't nobody got to know that you got it in there but you. So what you do, you have it right here where the finger grip said, if you left-handed or right-handed, I'm right-handed, but I'll grab it with my right hand, and I'm already on point. And this is the taser part right here. You got to turn it on first. So your switch is right here on the left. That looks like a light on it, too, is it? Yeah, it got a light. Okay, all right, there we go. Wow. And that's, that's what you do. I'm not going to hit you with it. I know. I know. So what you do. I'm comfortable now. If, if you got this in your hands or you pull it out of your pocket, it got finger grips to it. Left-handed, right-handed. The red button, you already know. That don't mean stop now. That means light them up. <laughs> so what you're going to do, if you walk in if, with this in your hand and somebody approach you or come up on you unwanted, all you got to do is just hit them. Mm. Same thing again. You got to make contact with their fingers, their arms, their leg, their chest. Give it to them. When you hit them, hold on to it. Hit them until they pass out. That's all you got to do. Incapacitate them. You're not trying to kill them. You're just trying to get them off of you. Yes. And that's exactly what we're trying to teach y'all today. Is educate y'all is that these tasers right here is for protection only. They're not to play with. They're not for no toys. We all got small kids. We got grandkids who, who fascinated going in your pocketbook trying to get a piece of gum or whatever. All you got to do is put, the, if you got this, put it up in a safe place. 
When you're going in and out of your house in the morning, you never think about somebody at the end of your house or hiding behind your car when you walk out the door. Right. We live in neighborhoods, and, and we're in society right now where they're they going to get you anyway. If, they, if you ain't got nothing, they're going to get you. You come out of your house every morning at different times. You don't know who's watching you. That's why when you come out of your house in the morning, you already got this in your hand. If somebody come up on you, you're already ready with it. The same thing with all these tasers. From point A to point B, from the time you get out of your car, from the time you go to work, or the time you go out to your house, if you have your taser already in your hand, already ready to go, you don't have to worry about it because you're ready to have it with you. That's exactly what we're trying to educate you on, is yes. not, to be a, not to be a victim, but sit up here and protect yourself. Let him be the victim because he's going to call the police on you when you get through tasing him. <laughs> Here's the... Here's a uh, uh, cane taser. Cane taser. Lipstick taser. Here's the lipstick ones in various colors that you have. And these are flashlight tasers. They come in all different colors. We we got tasers that comes in pink, blue, black, red, and we also have military for the people in the military. We have military tasers. The camouflage taser, wow. the same color. We got the Air Force, and we got the uh, Marines, and we got the Army. It's that teal green. And like I said before, again, these tasers are for protection only. For protection only. I'm going to repeat that. Because like I said before, your everyday way of life should not be disrupted by some little thug or somebody that want to sit up here and just feel they need to take your pocketbook or rob you or snatch something from you or boot you from, push you from your car because you arm yourself with this right here. You see the difference is when you do these tasers right here. And like I said, they're non-lethal, but they will hurt you. And, and uh, like I said before, they're just for protection. Again, give us your, your phone number and, and your Gmail, all those contact information one last time. Taser Force Management phone number is 678-579-3045. 678-579-3045. And you can reach me on my email at taserforcemanagement at gmail.com. Taserforcemanagement gmail.com. Uh, we send tasers all over the world, all over the United States. We, we, we use FedEx when we, when we ship out. If, if you put in for an order, you get it within 48 hours. Wow. And uh, as far as presentations, uh, we don't charge churches, we don't charge colleges for presentations because we know elder people are on a fixed income. We know college students are on a fixed income. The prices that we do for the churches, and we get them a big discount because, like I said before, this is for safety. We're not yes. sitting up here trying to make a lot of money. What we're trying to do is educate you, teach you how to be safe, and teach you how to protect yourself. Wow. That's exactly what Taser Force Management stands for. And well, I thank you for your time. Thank you again, Officer Bradley. Do love you very much. Thank, thank you, Robert. This is my brother here, and he means the world to us. Again, thank you again for tuning in to Old Time Gospel with Sister Martha Hood and Marcus Hammonds. And again tonight, we had Taser Force Management with Officer Marvin Bradley, and I'm glad that he's from our area, and now he's here to service our area. Please give him a call. Again, the number is 678-579-3045. Thank you again. Have a great night. God bless you. Have a great day, great weekend, and forever put Jesus first. We love you.